Just a case of the players galvanised each other today against you know, the champions of, of the Premiership and we knew it wasn't going to be easy, we knew it was going to be difficult and I thought they stuck to the task really well and, uh, and they got, they got the, the rich deserves out of a, a good performance and a great result. <laughs> well, yeah, but you have to be coy now and again, you know. But uh, it has been difficult. There's, there's no doubt about it. You know, when you go from the euphoria of of getting promoted and the hard work that goes into that, to the performance at Wembley, to then have a break where everybody's elated and wants to uh, enjoy their holidays, get back to work, and then all of a sudden cracks start to appear and and things don't turn out the way you want them to. So, yeah, it's been difficult, but football seems to throw these issues up at you now and again, and, and sometimes you're not in control of them, so you just get on with your job. Were you always going to name the full number of substitutes, or was it one point? No, 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 I was quite quite confident to put the uh, the young players on, on the bench, simply because they'd been with us all pre-season. You know, it wasn't as if we took... Uh, we took a, a small group away with us. We did take them with us. They've worked with the team. They've worked with the senior players, and I think they've thoroughly enjoyed themselves. So I, I would have had no problems today. At, at, you know, if we had a problem or an injury, to put put any of those players on. It was just a case of when we did it, how we did it, or if we needed to do it. And I just thought, as the game moved into the final 15 minutes, I still felt as though there was some strength in the team. They didn't waver, and they. they they conducted themselves really well and, and they fancied the chances in the last 15 minutes. Do you think it was a risk though, keeping your 11? Very much so, yeah, very much so. But I think out of it all, when you when you work with a small group of players, those, some of those players, I think Curtis Davis now has probably played every game, 90 minutes, you know, and there's a few others there. Yes, there is a risk. There's a risk always of, of fading away in the last 15, 20 minutes because when you see the substitutes that come on from Leicester, and then you see what we might have to do or may not have to do. Um, it's difficult, but these players were ready for this. You know, they they've worked hard. They've kept they've kept themselves together. They've had a great attitude into pre-season. I think in a way it's galvanised them a little bit because of of things that are beyond their control. So so all in all, a very pleasing day, and it's it's, it's great at three o'clock. Saturday to sit here and you've already won a football match, it's nice. <laughs> um, did you hear from Steve at all in the, in the days up until the match? That he yeah, I'm in contact with Steve. Uh, you know, Steve is a big influence on this football club. He's had a big influence on this football club, the most successful guy this football club's had. You know, and for him to be sitting at home on the day of a, uh, a season starting must be unusual for him. But he's, he's, he's been great, he's, he's given encouragement. Um, I'm sure he's massively disappointed, uh, but listen, the politics of football are for politicians. Where, oh. where do you stand now, Mike, with respect to the right position? Um, I am still doing the job I'm doing, I'll which was, <laughs> you will, yeah, you'll pay me back when we lose again. <laughs> um, I was asked to take the team pre-season when, when Steve departed his football club. I've done that. I've tried to, to keep everything going. It's worked out very, very well. I've had the backing of the players. And we've just done day by day. It's been difficult because we've had to change certain things in pre-season just to make sure we get to today with 11 fit players. We couldn't afford anything. You know, even last night when you finished training yesterday afternoon, you, you're always thinking, you know, is somebody gonna wake up with a cold or, or some issue? But today, everybody's done their job and for me, that's the pleasing thing. It's always important in any pre-season that you get your players through, you get them fit, and you have a selection of players for the first game of the season. We've managed to achieve that. But whether that can go on, I'm not quite sure. So we shall have to wait and see. It might be a big week this week. How big a role was this to lose a key player like uh, Mohamed Diarmi? Well, listen, Mohamed Diarmi is a very influential player. Partly, Mohamed Diarmi got us to this position anyway with the uh, with a goal in the final of the playoff. But for Mo, it was his decision that you know he, he, he wanted to move on, and he exercised that right to do that. So he's he's gone to another club. He's been terrific for me in all the time I've worked here for the previous manager. But you know he's gone to pastures new, and uh, we need to replace quality with with quality.
say it might be a big week. You referred to the, the takeover potentially. We think that the owners were here today watching. Is that something you're? Well, what I know from from all this takeover, this, this club's been being taken over for about about eight to twelve months. It's been on off, on off, and now apparently there are new buyers out there. So. I want to leave that for them to take care of, how long that might take, if it is a, a, a deal on, then that's up to the powers that be and uh, my job is to enjoy my weekend, because you win, there's not many Saturday nights you can enjoy in the Premier League sometimes, this is one of them, and uh, and start again Monday. But you must have, have realised you've given yourself a real boost of getting the job yourself, yeah, but one result is one result. You know, it's a it's a massive season. It's huge. You know, for this football club to get promoted, to be back to where they wanted to be, they earned the right to be here. Those players have earned the right to be in this position. You know, and and we've got to now concentrate and not get carried away with it because this league is cruel. It can be hard, and uh, if you take your eye off the game, then you can be hurt badly. We've enjoyed a day today, which you know we've all worked for. Next week's another week, and we have to prepare for Swansea. I mean, like, you know, the players better than anyone. You got a good performance from today, but is that the level of performance they need to put in every week? We have to be, as a as a football team, top of our game every week in order to be competitive. Also, we need to be competitive with more football players in this football club. You know, the squad the squad is not so far away from the squad that was in the Premier League the last time. You know, things move on. We have to be realistic, we have to do our job well, but we also have to make sure we get some quality to add to the quality that we've already got. Now that's that's up to other people at this moment in time to, to deliver that. No, I was expecting a performance from Leicester. They probably are disappointed in, in, in some ways, maybe the result and all that, but really from our point of view, it wasn't about Leicester for me today. It was about Old City. It was about what group of players could turn out onto that football field and have the courage to stand up there throughout whatever was going to happen today and put in a performance. And I think credit must go must go to them because it has been difficult for them. Well, you're pleased with South Lucas, who seems to be very well in central midfield and, and might not have played it. Yeah, sometimes you stumble on things, you know, sometimes you take credit for things, but sometimes you stumble simply because those are the numbers you've had to work with and, and trying to find a, a system and a way of playing and who plays where. I mean, Jake Livermore today played centre-back. You know, I, I can vaguely remember Jake when he was at Tottenham playing centre-back, probably in, in his reserve team days and what have you. But you remember these things and you just ask the players if they're committed to that. Jake was today. And it was a great performance, not only from him but from others. Snodgrass, you know, he's been out, you know, Premiership. He lost, he lost a year of the Premiership. He's come back, he's back in it, and he put in a performance today. So, Curtis Davis, there's loads, but I think from my point of view, it was all of them, everybody, they all contributed, which you need against, you know, the champions. Is that a problem with Snodgrass and David Miner as well? They've these big problems, but they can have the rest of the front line. <laughs> Can't list anybody at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm sure as the season unfolds, then you know you will have to look at those issues. Right now, you know there's a lot of euphoria around that dressing room because it's all about preparation to the first game and to try and get points on the table in the first game, which breeds a little bit of confidence. We know it's it's you know, it's a long, long, hard season, and those players do, but they need. They need the opportunity now to, to go again, they need the opportunity to rest, recover, enjoy the weekend and then hopefully everything will settle down in due course. Who's hanging the first goal? <laughs> I don't know, Is you can debate that forever. Um, two strikers scoring one goal, it's not too bad, is it? <laughs> uh, I mean, I think both of them got actually the touch at the same time, it was quite unique in a way. Um, I'm sure. It could be debated forever, that one, but can you have half a goal each? I don't know. Are you expecting during the course of next week to meet with either Rehab or Aston Villa to play in the future? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I hope there's communication there. Um, it's important that you know exactly what direction things are going in. You know, I'm sure everybody's elated about one result. You know, it's, uh, it's always pleasing because, like I said, you, the Premier League 
doesn't give you many good Saturdays. You know, it can be uh, it can be turbulent. But but I think meeting everybody, sitting down, discussing, going forward, is an important factor of any football club, and, and this shouldn't be any different. Like, can you just briefly set out your tactics today? What was the idea that people have said that? I don't think we should downgrade Leicester. You know, I think you know, as, as champions, they have a lot to live up to, and they have some quality, serious quality in, in the team, and they've added to that quality. I think the the burden on their shoulders now is the fact that they are champions. They have to they have to produce, and the big players have to produce a lot more often. You know, so the spotlight is on them. We just decided today that. Tactically, we would be strong, we would be organised, we would be together, and we knew that if we could stop them counter-attacking, then we had a chance of, of being in the game. And that to get the goal just on 45 minutes was nice. To lose a goal on 46 minutes was horrible. But that's the nature of this division. What was really pleasing after that was the fact that our heads didn't go down. We still stuck to our game plan. We took a few risks now and again with the ball, but that is what we've asked them to do. We've asked them to play a more uh, open game, a more sort of conservative game with passing the ball. And today they delivered on that. It may be different next week. We don't know. But, but all credit to them. You know, Leicester are a good team, and they will hurt teams. That's for sure. Today we've probably, with everything that's been going on, they've probably found us at our best today.